Hello, everybody. Um, this is the bids talk for DebConf 11. Bring DebConf home to your city. Um, and your friendly moderator, who isn't me, is Jimmy Kaplowitz. <laughs> Hi. So uh, I went through this process last year, and uh, as the DebConf 10 bidder, and I gonna do this for the next year now. Um, so we're talking about where we want to hold the conference in 2011. Uh, so just gonna talk briefly about why we do DebConf, uh, the things we look for in a, uh, in a bid, the talk about the timeline for how we're, when we're gonna stop accepting proposals, when we're gonna decide, and if we want to make any changes to the process. And then I'll turn it over to the proposal teams who are uh, Bosnia and Germany. Um, so there are many reasons we do DebConf. Um, we want to uh, allow DDs to get together, work with each other and other interested people and improve and talk about Debian. Uh, we want to sort of give talks and workshops to share knowledge. We want to meet in person and get better uh, social relations so that we can work better online and uh, just to get everyone enthusiastic about working on DebConf. So other reasons are to sort of help get the local areas involved in Debian and to sort of enjoy ourselves so that we can enjoy ourselves online. So um, we, there is also the side benefit of uh, having a good time in a, in a place we wouldn't normally go to. All right, so what we look for in the location is certainly a strong local team uh, so that um, we know they have the experience to make it happen. We look for uh, sort of the characteristics of the location in which it's going to happen, the, uh, you know, the city, the town, um, the country, the uh, facilities of the conference, whether they have a lot of space, small rooms, so forth, um, what the food will be like, and the pricing for all of these things, network connectivity, uh, will it be able to support the heavy usage which we do, um, the DevConf rooms that we need for special purposes like the video team, the orga team, the servers, uh, what people can do when they're not focusing on the conference, where they can sleep, and who can give us money to help make it happen and support our efforts. So uh, unless people have objections, we'll do this like we did last time around. Uh, all we're deciding today is just uh, this process. And uh, the idea would be that we accept proposals through the end of 2009, December 31st of the deadline. Um, we aim to decide by March 31st, and if it takes a little longer, we decide by April 1st of 2010. Um, in some years, there's been a sort of clear uh, best option. If that by chance happens this year and everyone agrees mostly, then we'll go with that. Otherwise, um, for three of the last four decision processes, um, we use a sort of prioritized list of important uh, issues and had a long formal meeting where we uh, weighed them in a systematic way and came to a decision. Uh, IRC logs of those are available if people want to check it out. If uh, anyone wants to change this process, let's do that before the proposal deadline so that everyone can work in a reasonably efficient manner. So, so far, um, I'm aware of Bosnia and Germany as the proposals. And uh, just to be utterly arbitrary uh, in, in, to, and also fair, I will take a page from the American Football League in the US, the NFL, and do a coin toss to decide who, uh, who goes first. Um, so Bosnia, g given that they're visiting the EU currently, are the visiting team. So uh, if, uh, if someone from Bosnia can come up and call uh, the coin toss, um, we... Uh, also, the NFL doesn't use standard U.S. currency, so I got an Icelandic kroner here. Um, <laughs> yes, um, one side seems to be a picture of Thor with a you know sort of long beard and a staff, and and the other side is a fish. So, um, if um, yes, 
now you see my inquiry on the mailing list. Uh, so if uh, Adnan or Safir wants to come up here for a sec, and uh, I'm going to flip it, and you're going to call God or fish. <laughs> <laughs> and if, uh, if it matches your call, you get to choose who goes first, otherwise they do. Okay. All right. Um, fish. It's God. You're, you are to go first with them. Well, earlier, you, earlier you said they want. Earlier you said they, you wanted them to go first. Is that still true? All right. All right. So we have we can divide up the rest of the time between them. Um, you know, that's it's about ten minutes in. So you know, allowing some transition time. Let's say twenty minutes for questions. Uh, twenty minutes, including questions. All right. We're not deciding anything today. This is just to give you an idea of what the proposals are. Have fun. All right, so here you go. This is Adnan Hodzik, and his teammate sitting in the second row is Safir. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name, but um, Safir. Oh, Sapphire on IRC. Here you go. Okay, hello everyone. My name is Adnan Hadzik. I'm here to present you with Bosnian Bid version 2.0. Uh, version 2.0 because as some of you may know it, we also did a bid for DEPCON 7. Scotland had a better team, so um, DEPCON 7 was in Scotland, actually Edinburgh. By the way, all the information, crucial information is, is on the wiki page, so please Go to the wiki page. Um, location of Bosnia in Europe. Like 17 years ago, we were slayed by mass genocide, murder. It, it was just war and it was chaos. Right now, 17 years later, we're actually tr trying to make best of it and trying to put Bosnia on map of Europe as an open source sense. So th th this is actually the figure that shows you the, the most used distributions in Bosnia. It's mostly Ubuntu, as you can see. It. There's also Debian. But with this... Co we can yeah, we can change that. Uh, this is what this event could do, really. Because we try to uh, implement open source and free software in our government, and there wasn't enough of initiative. They were just, they were just crazy guys. They are just all, whoa. So this kind of event would push Debian forward, and it's called, we would actually scratch each other's back. We would push Debian, and Debian would push Bosnian further process. Um, getting to Bosnia. Um, getting to Bosnia is actually really easy, since Sar we have two international airports, one Sarajevo and two, uh, the other one in Banja Luka. You can get there from any capital of the Europe, really. Um, there's also uh, Zagreb, Belgrade is really close, even Dubro Dubrovnik. So if you're planning to go on a stay to Croatia, it's really easy. Even taking a bus from Belgrade or Zagreb only takes up around like eight hours uh, to Sarajevo, actually. What? Um, OK, so now the main point, our local team. Um, this is our local team right now, and this is the, cur the current situation with the local team. The reason there are only so few people is because problem in my, if you ask me actually, my opinion is for DEPCON 7 we had a huge team and it was most of it, I hate to use that expression, but you know, uh, fame hunters and stuff like that. So. Right now, we're trying to build a team that's really solid, people that are really going to do their job. So most of these people are, this is, this is only the current list since Bosnia is, we didn't announce the, the bid in Bosnia. So we, we're planning uh, to do that. This is one of the meetings actually held in Tuzla. We're planning to do this because I'm writing a, a coverage story of DEFCON for Info Magazine. It's the largest and most popular magazine l regarding uh, technology in Bosnia. So I'll ask for more people there. I'm going to invite them. And what we could get is because uh, 
people from higher education, professors, assistants, and people like that are reading that magazine, so we could really build a really nice team. Next year, um, I'm going to be in an organization team for, for Zepcom 10 in New York. I'm trying, we should actually have at least five people over there, so that's how we're going to know how we can actually have a, such an event. You know, it's not an easy thing to do. Um, Okay. Um, so, also, the, the strategy to acquire new people, which is really, really important here, is to, I'm um, really influential in my university, so I'm, I was planning to have like some lectures where I would explain some basic things from what Deb, DebConf is, what it means to how to organize such an event, and what it means for people who are going to be involved in it. Uh, also, besides that, in our future local team, some of the people we're actually thinking about are actually assistants on some of the electronic universities in Bosnia and Herzegovina, so we should have a good uh, local team. Um, okay, so about choice of a city, we, we picked up uh, four larger cities in Bosnia. They all have airports, two of them are international ones. Um, we, so far, it's going to look, it's going to be Sarajevo. We picked because th we're trying to make really, really wise decisions and make them slow, as, something as a chess, game of chess or something like that. But so far, it's, gonna, it's probably going to be Sarajevo because we already went there, we got all the information, and it has, I mean, it proved as the best feasible option for Bosnia. Uh, venue. Um, this is actually a student dormitory in Najarici. It has a uh, nine, nine, 960 uh, beds, and this is a this is a hotel that was built afterwards. Um, yeah, after Zapcom Seven bid. So we were planning to actually have a student center and use it as a dormitory. So we would sleep there, maybe have a hack lab or something like that. And hotel, Vadim Plaza, is the hotel that was built. And it's only like, what, 313 meters away. There we would have all the uh, talk rooms, hack labs, and everything else. Also, handicapped people should be placed there since 300 meters is not, you know, it's long distance for the handicapped. Also, people that don't want to be in dormitory, there's their option. Um, also, this company, I think they're deleting, uh, it's called Lavaz. They're leading, they have the leading newspapers, daily newspapers in Bosnia, and I think we really could have their um, support. Um, um, oh yeah, also really, really important. Um, airport is only uh, 1.5 kilometers away from the, for, from the dormitory. City, uh, city center is like three kilometers away. Um, it's, it's all really, really close. So that would be really the best option. So far, again, this is also, this isn't a final bid, but it, it looks like it's gonna be it. So there's a lot to do. Okay, network. Uh, we would be able to connect those two buildings with network, no problem at all. Um, our provider would be most probably be Binet, which is BH Telecom. We have really strong connections there. Um, also, peop, uh, a guy who could actually be our in our local team and who should be in New York next year is. He is in the local team. Yeah, uh, um, he he set up a Debian server for BH Telecom. Also, the other guy. Um, has really, really strong connections. So as it goes for network, we would have the best Bosnia has to offer because... This is, this is the provider which actually has the biggest market share in Bosnia. Yeah, it's the biggest and in, in, in all that. Food. Um, we have all kind of cultures in Bosnia, all kind of religions. When speaking about religions, we should actually propose Debian as a religion as well. <laughs> <laughs> it would work in Bosnia, really. <laughs> so we have all sorts of food. Um, these are chavap. You've got to try these. These are awesome for vegetarians. There are other things. Fish. <laughs> this is not for vegetarians. <laughs> yeah, this is. I mean, I'm sorry, guys, really. Um, okay, fun and free time. 
This is also, we, this is only just few points. You can actually go to permits. We have permits, you heard about that? It's only like, no really, it's 20 kilometers away from Sarajevo. So also, um, you could actually go to a seaside, which is uh, three, four hours away from Sarajevo. Also, you could go to uh, mountains that are all around the Sarajevo. Uh, Olympic Games were held back in uh, 84. So you can actually see how it all looks right now. Uh, since I'm ha friends with many DJs, we could have free beer and music and all that. Just. No. Oh yeah, how fr friendly are people? Really friendly. I mean, if anything, Bosnia is popular and known for its hospitality. Um, the worst joke you can make about Bosnia is about its hospitality. We'll give our blood to make you feel good, uh, and I mean it. Um, visas? No, really. Visas are easy to get. Um, just recently found out that most of the South Amer America doesn't need visas as well. Uh, some countries you can actually just get it by ID, that, that is neighboring countries. Also worth noting is that we could actually have, Eddie Pedersen is from uh, Romania. We could also have uh, Debian developers from Croatia and Serbia as well. So it's, it's really uh, narrowly connected. Dates, uh, I think we should pick uh, end of July and beginning of August because a uh, famous film festival is being held uh, at that time. Also, it's the highlight of the season. Also, the wet weather, it's not hot as, uh, as it is here. So, it, yeah, it's hot. So, we have rain sometimes, like once or two days per week. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's good, right? Um, now, please, Hit me with your questions. Wow. The Hi, um, just how easy would it be to for foreigner people to communicate with local people, preferably in English? Okay, okay. okay. Um, very easy. Uh, very easy because most of the people speak English, especially the young people. So English, besides Bosnian, Bosnian is the most popular language. You, you can just talk Serbian, uh, Croatian, but English is really, really everybody. Widely know. Widely know. Yeah, widely know exactly. Everybody pretty much knows it, especially the young, the children. That is. Well. Yeah. Young population. Yeah, young population. <laughs> I'm sorry, um, but. A lot of people can speak English, pretty much everybody, so. Anyone else? You can find, you can really find all the information. This is fu awesome for cheese and wine party, for example. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, you stole my question. <laughs> no, Just ask it. Ask it. Wine and cheese. Wine and cheese. It's awesome. It's awesome. It's really good. No, that would be that would be really good. That would be really good. I don't know. We uh, oh also I uh, forgot to note uh, to mention we were probably not probably most most likely have full government support regarding this. So I uh, yeah, and regarding that I'm trying to get it all biting signed on paper. So regarding that we would probably have free beer. So yeah. Hi. Um, well, uh, I just want to add, uh, because I'm from Bosnian local team, uh, that venue is uh, actually not the only venue that is yeah. available in Sarajevo. There's uh, another venue also, but uh, it's uh, in the center of the city. And it also has a capacity of 1,000 beds, and it's very well connected with the rest of the city and uh, all other I mean, um, places that are really nearby, yeah. so. Yeah, also, to add to that, there are a lot of hotels, so that would not be a problem at all. That would, no problem there. Um, I th really think the only problem with Bosnia could be the, or the local team, but we're really, really working on that. We have big plans for a local team, so we would get our, gra uh, gra uh, how do you say that, Diploma in New York, where we would have 
organize no. it. We don't have the experience. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. But, but he's, he's our part of the organization team, definitely. Yeah, and I would also okay. try to bring as much as people uh, as I can, at least five, that is. Hey. Hello. I was wondering if there would be a possibility for the venue to be in the same building as the sleeping places. Yes. Because in my experience, this is the best possible combination. Um, it would. Um, let me add to that because this is Sarajevo. Uh, just after Zebcon 7, I actually in Tuzla, but same thing can be done in Sarajevo. I'm just, I'm not informed. I didn't check personally, but I checked personally in Tuzla because I checked this whole hotel. It's, it's really awesome. So I checked with them and I asked them if they didn't have a full capacity to s store so many people. And they said, okay, it's not a problem. We would get you more space or something like that. We would extend our capacity because for a hotel, that would mean a great thing, you know, having a reservation for a hotel for 15 days or 20. So it's, it is possible. I didn't check it in Sarajevo. New information. Uh, also, the plan is to go all over these cities. All, yeah. I have a question from Marga on IRC. She's very curious about what the networking situation is whether we'd be able to get sufficient bandwidth easily, that sort yeah. of thing. Yeah, that's, that's all because BH Telecom, if that, so it's all sorted. We would get the best Bosnian can get, so yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, and as I said, some of the local teams, yeah, some of the people in local team are highly connected. Highly connected. They're working there as admins and they're setting up Debian mirrors and all that, so. Um, um, I was wondering, when you were competing for Debcon 7, what were the issues raised and have you managed to solve them? Yeah, well, most of, not most of them, everything, because we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for, like, for Debcom 7. We pretty much had a problem with a local team and a venue, venue and a city infrastructure, but that changed. That changed, and Safir pretty uh, I would out. just like to add something on this issue. Uh, like, uh, mm, Many things have dramatically changed uh, in our country uh, for the better in the like, past two years. For example, we had problems with um, infrastructure, with uh, uh, visas, with uh, flights to Sarajevo. There were no budget flights practically from Europe yeah. to Sarajevo. I mean, uh, connectivity also. I mean, everything has gotten a lot, a lot better. And uh, I actually think that uh, we have... Uh, I mean, at present time, we have the capabilities, and in two years from now, that uh, things will, will only improve in terms of our having a DEPCONF in Bosnia. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I want to ask to, to, to this question that was uh, asked about uh, the local team. I think, all in all, the, the, what happened in, uh, regarding, well, that you had a bid, it didn't happen, and it scared away some potential contributors, may end up being a positive thing. Because, yeah. well, uh, now, you, uh, I mean, we can be sure that you two are, are real, uh, really a good core and, uh, and, uh, and that you're still pushing this, uh, this uh, bid, yeah? Uh, I mean, we, we, we can compare, for example, what happened here in Spain. Well, the local team was not big. But I do not feel, uh, we, I mean, having uh, Anteo and Cesar that have done so much here, I do not feel that we were lacking in, in any way. So having a, a big uh, local team can be good, but it, I don't think it's a real prerequisite if you have the uh, infrastructure needed. Yeah, exactly, because in marketing as well, they have this dinosaur effect where it all goes, it all collapses because it's too slow to move. With bo bit, so same thing goes with big team I mean it's everything has its positive sides and negative sides but we learned our lessons we're gonna pick uh, our new team really really wisely and it should all be good we I really think we are ready for this Bosnia for the win yeah yeah we would also and we're inviting you to help us with this because we're really young with this but we can do it we need your help. For example, he was opted in our team yesterday, just yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, and he's from Romania. So we're gonna get, we're planning to get a creation team uh, th that is Debian developers, just like that, and a few others. So if you wanna help, really, come and join us. I mean, 
That's really acceptable. Not acceptable. We desirable. want that. Desirable, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm calling time, and thank you very much to the okay. Bosnian team. And now for the nice folks from Germany also. So, hello everybody, and welcome to the presentation of the DEPCONF 11 bit for Germany, where Debian could be Debian to, to Gast by Freunden. Yeah, which should be translated, but we preferred not to. <laughs> if you remember the football uh, soccer world mastership, there it was a pretty nice slogan. So why Germany? We do have a big local team, and many of those in the local team have been pre organizers to various DEPCONs. I think back to DEPCON 5 or maybe 4 already? 3? Over there we have one for 3. So we have a lot of experience already. We have lots of Debian developers within the country. We are currently, according to the statistics, the second largest country with Debian developers. We have a huge community around Debian within Germany, including commercial support. There are lots of companies all over Germany doing commercial Debian support. We have an excellent infrastructure. Wherever we are going, we will have a lot of network, no matter what we do. <laughs> and the accessibility shouldn't be a prob problem at all. There are various laws all over Germany that you have to support wheelchairs, and you have to do this, and you have to do that. We, we don't think there will be any noticeable problem for disabled people. And there's a wide range of political su support, depending on the area you are in. There are local governments all over using Debian, and whole cities already converted all their systems using Linux and stuff. So it's pretty used. A nice point over there is we have moderate summer temperatures. We aren't trying to melt you all away. It's also easy to travel to Germany. We have one of the largest hubs in Frankfurt going there. Um, people within Europe have it very easy to come over, and visas shouldn't be that big a problem for countries that are on Schengen status. God, it's this micro. Um, English is also a mandatory foreign language. The kids are... So let's test. Yeah, it seems to go better. Power helps sometimes. So where was I? Ah, English is a mandatory foreign language. I don't think you will have a problem finding your way through Germany at all, any time. And we have a very well-developed public transport system. No matter if you want to go from one big city to another, like if you come down in Frankfurt and want to go to Berlin or Munich, that's easy to do. And it's also easy within any city to get from one place to another. DEPCONF 11, Germany, it would be in the heart of Europe, right in the middle. So we are also currently not decided on which place in Germany there will be DEPCONF 11. We have Berlin and the Rhein-Ruhr area, as well as Munich standing up. We are having a Germany internal selection process. It will be finished before the end of the year. And then we will have one DC 11 bit for Germany with one place, one venue, everything selected. So we are now going to present the three places Berlin, Rhein Ruhr area, and Munich. And we are starting with Berlin and Thorsten Werner.
Hello, I will briefly uh, present the city of Berlin. Uh, it's actually the, actually the capital of Germany, uh, the old capital and the new capital after the reuni reunification of Germany. Um, we have quite good experience with organizing events related to free software. Some examples are the Cars, com computer, uh, uh, cars Communication con uh, uh, Conference, um, which is organized annually uh, with thousands of uh, participants and uh, the Linux talk um, too. We have three major universities in Berlin um, and, some, and, and many uh, universities of applied science. Berlin is the biggest city in Germany too. Uh, almost five million people live in the whole uh, uh, area of Berlin, the whole me metropolitan area. It is a, a place which is very interesting for tourists too, because we uh, have many interesting his historical places, museums, uh, lands interesting landscape around the city, um, nightlife of course, it's a city that never sleeps, uh, you have very good public transportation, um, many opportunities for entertainment and so on. Uh, it's a multicultural city and a multi-language city, so if you want to bring your family or your partners, we will happily uh, organize uh, uh, some nice holiday program for them during the conference days. Yeah. Okay, I think it's uh, enough for Berlin and I will hand over uh, to uh, Ryan Rohr. The next area in Germany which we are presenting is a Wine Ruhr area. We haven't decided on a city over there because it's just all so close together. It doesn't make sense currently. This area is presented by Rene Engelhardt. Okay. Um I'm presenting the Rhine Moor area. We have a small map of the area on the right um, and where it lies in Germany. It's right uh, west in Germany. Has a, is a big megapolis. It has uh, many big, big uh, cities in the area like Cologne, like Dortmund, Essen with the famous Linux hotel. Um, there are too many universities, Cologne and uh, Bochum, many universities of applied sciences. Um, there were many smaller Debian events already hosted there. Um, too bad you can't see it right now, but it has a very good um, infrastructure. There are four airports along in, in, in this map, and Frankfurt is around, uh, around there. So uh, even Frankfurt is reachable in short time, um, and even for for the uh, for the fun fun and free time stuff, even if you can't do something in one city, it's trivially reachable, uh, trivially possible to go to the next city in 15 minutes or whatever. Um, it might be that the conference is um, in Cologne, so we have a bit of uh, uh, panorama of Cologne in this um, in this presentation. But uh, as Gunnar said, it's not decided yet. Finally, okay. And last but not least, we are going to present the, present the city of Munich. This is done by Michael Bank. Yeah, so I'm Michael Bank, and um, Munich is uh, well known for its um, recreational things, for its city, for the landscape. Um, I know that a couple of you already have been there, being like guests to the local Debian community. It has a rather large Debian community, and um, we're well experienced, and we had a couple of box washing parties and all that. Um, but outside of that, Debian, uh, Munich is also known as one of the big high-profile 
um, migration cases. So the city of Munich is migrating all the desktops to Debian. And uh, we got the support, or actually part of the local team are also um, from the Linux project. Um, we got Florian Schiesel. And the other one is, of course, uh, well, the other person in the local team so far is Andreas Barth, who I don't have to introduce to you. And um, it's not just the, the people from Limux, we also have the support from, from the um, city of Munich himself. So the city mayor already said that um, he would like to welcome us there. Um, apart from that, as in the other big parts of Germany, there is major universities. Um, and as I said, we already hosted a couple of small Debian events. Yeah, that's basically it, I think. So, as you can see, we would like to welcome you all in Germany, and we are now open for questions, if you have any. Um, I don't want to, to interpret this as an attack, but I just want to be sure what's the current status. Um, when does your Munich mayor terms end? Because if it ends in 2010 and then somebody else seizes power and he does not agree with that policy, what, what's the situation in that case? There is no election until 2011. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Over the years, with, uh, I remember talking, uh, over the years I remember talking with uh, several of you and, uh, well, uh, it's uh, always uh, it so always sounds logical to have the next DevConf in Germany, uh, if at all, because we, we don't have to fly many people because we save a lot of money because there are so many there. Why? Uh, I, and so far, always you've said no, no way, never. No, Germany is not good. Germany is not good. Suddenly, it's good. Why? Because we wanted to fly elsewhere in the past, and now we try to stay in our country for one year. <laughs> So, um, Ganef, I know that you're not attending um, DevConf uh, 10 in New York. Is any of the local team going to be there? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, um, what thoughts uh, do you guys have? What, what thoughts do you guys have regarding venues in the various cities you're considering? Um, we are considering currently multiple options like various hotels and conference places. We would like to not go into too much detail because we can talk about hours for every city and we want to present one sound bit in the whole de decision process later this year. Um. We are currently planning the decision internally for Germany until end of September and try to get it earlier also, but end of September should be also go with one bit for us. Um, I have a question, I haven't, is this on? Um, I haven't seen anything on recreation and, well, day trip had its actual tradition around. What are your plans, what are your plans for that? It depends on the area where we are going to. If we are going near to Berlin, we have multiple options there as well as if we are going to Munich, we can go into the Alps or something. It really depends where we have the when uh, DebConf. There are many, many options, yes. <laughs> we can have our own Debian beer 2011 if you want, yes. <laughs> And yes, Bubulev, we will also have wine and cheese. <laughs> I remember the last cheese that left were the German ones, so... Can I say things? Please say things. Yeah, well, that was a just a joke. I don't, I don't want to stand up for such stupid joke. So <laughs> I, I just remember that to my 
from what I remember, the last cheese that left were the German ones, so I kind of worrying about <laughs> all this. So I, I will need definitely more explanation about your plans regarding cheese, please. Thank you. <laughs> Any other question? Uh, I have, um, like I come from Bosnian team, and uh, I am a big fan of your country. So I just want to say that um, it is an honor to uh, be able to uh, be with you, I mean, as, as uh, coming from Bosnia. No, yes, compete with you, of course. <laughs> so that's all. Thank you. Any further questions? Uh, just a comment. Um, as I've been in the team who visited Sarajevo for the DC7 decision, um, I would like to say that you indeed made great progress according to your presentation. And as much as I would like to see DC11 to be in Germany, I could really think of visiting Sarajevo again. <laughs> Uh, how about uh, clothing optional swimming uh, opportunities? What, what? Clothing optional, FKK or? I think we can arrange something for you. <laughs> Anyone else? Um, is that everybody? In that case, thank you for attending. <laughs>